Time for joining us interactive. My pit sister, Bidi. Hello, Maps. Hello, Izzy. How are you? I'm well. Okay. I can tell you're struggling with the flu. Uh, yeah, I am, but I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. On Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, we're joining us on TV. Keep those tweets, comments, and double hearts coming. We really appreciate them. Now, there have been some concerns about Ghana's preparedness in case of a terrorist attack. I'm sure you've seen Kojo Youngson's visits to the Accra shopping mall to test how equipped the country is in an event and any such attack occurs in the country. Now, you've been reacting to this video where Kojo Youngson left his bag at the shopping mall and then he came back after 30 minutes, nobody had touched it. For me, coming from a country where there's a lot of crime, right. I look at this in a good light. And I'm just like, okay, if I left my bag somewhere in Joburg, Listen, I don't, just turning my back, my bag is <laughs> gone. gone. Vanish. It's gone, you understand? So, I mean, for us, it's a good thing. For you guys, I don't know, how, how prepared are we for any terrorist attack? That's the question, and uh, that's the question we've been asking. We've been trying to get some answers, too. All right, let's go to Facebook and see what you have been saying. Isaac Mensa says, uh, in as much as your idea is good, don't, you don't expose this lapse to the world. You can write officially to the authorities in charge and alert them. Really? This lack of tact defeats your good mission. Uh, Adnan agrees with you. Isaac Mensa uh, they will only respond if there's payment involved. Stephen says, absolutely. Uh, Frimpon says, this is to teach us all to be vigilant. Now you know... Now you know when you see a suspicious bag, suspicious bag you will report. And Aquamana says, good job, but on the professional level, you fail. The footage should have been submitted to security agencies for training. This reminds me of how no answer lied about the documentary. <laughs> really? Oh, really? Okay. David Akin says, Joe FM, you are becoming and becoming. All the, these things are security issues that need to be passed on discreetly to the security agencies and management to raise their awareness and not show it to miscreants. Our vulnerability stop this and there are nine replies there. I'm interested in what the people are saying but the, the people who agree mm -hmm. with uh, the test there are others who f feel that you no know, David Akin uh, says certainly my brother you have spoken well Bismarck says hmm and uh, and they think they are working Ebenezer says thank you chief David Akin can't believe they are rather giving them ideas David says uh, this is one of several instances in the last 24 months. Okay. okay. But we actually spoke with the yeah. expert who, who believes that, no, this is a good idea and the security agencies should take a cue from it and do something about it. All right. Tony, says, in Western countries, you are advised to report all suspicious and attended packages. And you are not to approach it, but let relevant security apparatus deal with it. In Ghana, we sit next to the suspicious package without a care in the world. All right. Now, if someone had taken the bag, the story would have ended differently, you know, if we're probably given into security. So now what we're asking is that as citizens, how can we help when they know what's maybe countering terrorist attacks or to making sure that such things don't become, you know, as a citizen, how do you help this whole situation? That's what we're asking. All right. So Akambonga says we should stop <coughs> importing pump action guns into Ghana. In the name of the people of certification to import, look at the numerous security issues that the country is grappling with. And some people have seen it as a cash cow and are busily importing guns. But you, but what do our security tell us? Oh, the person has a necessary certification to import pump action guns into Ghana. Where are these pump action guns going to end? Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, Sokpo says, our borders must become very secure. Foreigners without approved documents should not be allowed, allowed entry. Any form of suspected individual uh, must be reported to security agencies. Asante from Ponce says, the good thing about Ghana is that we know ourselves in various areas. So if you see new people in your areas, try to find out why. The only problem is the authorities must come out with plans to encourage people to report suspicious things in their areas. They should not wait till something happens before coming out with plans. These things need leadership and encouragement to report suspicious activities. Well, Nima has also been in the trains throughout the day, and that's because residents of the popular suburbs in Accra, Nima, and Mamobi are ready to get out to get ready for some major facelift in the area. Now, the Works and Housing Minister Samuel Ate Ache 
said the redevelopment of the slum will give meaning and beauty to the president's vision of inner city and zongo development now it's been trending on twitter and we'll be taking some of your tweets before we go to facebook we'll start with this one from rashid says uh, minister for works and housing attached chance pronouncement on reconstructing it must, must not be vain talk as usual it must not be an impulsive policy decision but a well thought through one which will begin yielding results from this year all right franklin kuja says government's plans to build Flats for Nima and Mamobi residents will enhance the economic value of estates and general beauty of those areas. But will the rents to be paid be social or economic? And uh <laughs> says, So Nima people won't call themselves ghetto youth again. <laughs> and uh, bearded DJ from uh, Ghana to wherever. If the sitting government of Ghana say they will reconstruct Nima and give new face to Nima, let's empower them and hope they don't disappoint. Let's stop uh, the area idea. Let's stop rubbishing the idea, essentially. We need that change. But if them talk where they don't do, eh? If they, but if they talk where they don't do, eh? Well, lie, do that. Then we'll see, say, we'll be shaking. <laughs> All right, let's go to after oh, the Oh, there's this one. Uh -huh. uh, Eldad says, Nima will no more be a ghetto. Okay. And then who's that? That's your said. Uh, Humphrey says, Nima will no longer be like Jamaica, but small Las Vegas in Ghana. Congratulations to all my Nima guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. And on Facebook, this one is from Hayford, who says, Talk is cheap. Where will those individuals be affected then housed during the state construction? And at what cost? Where are the hostels you earlier promised? 350 SHS buildings from scratch, a MPP with promises. And Nash Abdul says, very great vision. This is a really visionary government, so committed to development. You continue the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, where Joy is on TV, and I am Mapito CBD.